sometimes when you're working on editing a document it's convenient to take a look at the non-printing characters to see what's going on. For instance, we saw in the statistics that we have 200 some odd lines of text and also 200 some odd paragraphs. So there's matching lines and paragraphs so that may point out a problem. Now what's that? what causes that was that this is taken from a text document, a TXT, and every single line in a text document is considered a paragraph. So if you wanted to change that, you have to go back in and remove those paragraph tags. You can double check that with the with a particular tool here. I'm just going to zoom in just a little bit like that. There we go. You can see some of the problems are right here. By and intelligences. That should be all one sentence, but obviously there's a paragraph beginning here because this was brought from a text document. So I'll go over here to our text tool and we'll click inside that. There it is. Let's go up to text and come down to show non-printing characters. Click on that. This now is showing the non-printing characters. And there you go. There's that paragraph right there. There's a paragraph right down here. So obviously, I would need to remove those paragraphs in the middle of the text to make things show a little bit nicer. For instance, here's one up here. We'll start here. I'm just going to backspace a little bit over that. That cleans that up. That also makes our drop cap work better, as you can see. That solves that drop cap problem, which we didn't take care of previously. So being able to see these non-printing characters makes it a little bit easier to come in and fix little problems like we're having in there. Also notice that you do have a display of spaces in here. Spaces are shown as a, as a little dot. If I click in here someplace, I'll just click right there, I'll put a couple of spaces. And you can see now how the spaces are showing as multiple dots. Sometimes if you're looking at your text, you may have two spaces in there. It's hard to see that there are two spaces instead of one space, but you can easily spot that if you're showing your non-printing characters. It's obvious that I have two spaces up there. So it's a very useful tool when you're going through and doing your, your final editing. I'll make sure you don't haven't missed any of these things, missed any odd character problems such as that paragraph or double spaces, things like that. And again, make sure you have your text tool selected and then you can show that right here. It's, it's kind of an on off button. Click it once, it goes away and click it again and it comes back in again. We lost our text there for a second. I'll just bring that back up. There we go. So there it is. That's how to use that non-printing characters option. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.